boys with a slow heart rate are more likely to have criminal behavior. A new study from the University of Helsinki, Sweden suggests. Teens who have a low resting heart rate may be at increased risk of committing violent crimes as adults. The study, led by Antti Latvala, Ph.D., from the University of Helsinki, in Finland. A longitudinal study of resting heart rate and violent criminality in more than 700,000 men, published in JAMA Psychiatry on September 9, to Oat House and 15. The researchers analyzed information from more than 700,000 military men from 2009 onwards with a follow-up of up to 35.7 years. The study did not include women, and so the results apply only to men. They found that the teens with arresting heart rates of 60 beats per minute or less were 39% more likely to commit a violent crime over the next few decades. The study also found that men with the lowest resting heart rates were 25% more likely to be convicted of nonviolent crimes such as those involving drugs. And 39% more likely to be injured by an assault or an accident like a car crash. The new findings agree with a previous research in children. Adrian Rain, Phil, professor of criminology, psychiatry and psychology at the University of Pennsylvania, in Philadelphia said. I found this in my Ph.D. thesis back in 1981, school kids who were antisocial and aggressive had lower resting heart rates. There are many other studies showing the same thing, and the present study replicates in more than 12 different countries. It is by far and away the biggest study ever conducted, and as you see, it is showing that all types of criminal offending, violent offending, drug offending, property offending, even traffic offending are linked to low heart rate. Why having a low resting heart rate may increase the risk of violent behavior? There are two theories. One is the fearlessness theory. Less of a reaction to stressful experiences like fearless and less afraid of risks and their consequences. Some people may commit crime because they are not frightened about the consequences of getting caught. A normal level of anticipatory fear stops many of us from committing crime. A study from England showed, bomb disposal experts are quite fearless and had lower resting heart rates. The second hypothesis is arousal theory. Low resting heart rate predisposes the individual to seek stimulation. People with a low resting heart rate have unusually low levels of what psychologists call arousal, or the feeling of being awake and alert. It could be that they seek out stimulating experiences such as risky behaviors and crime to boost their arousal. Moreover a person's genes and environment, likely to play a role, and it should also be studied. The new findings put the case beyond reasonable doubt, that a low resting heart rate increases a person's risk of committing future crimes.